Hey guys, welcome back to Stay in Breath, the most diverse food show on the planet. Drink water. Remember, whether you're in Timbuk 1 or Timbuk 2, we're going to find you the best food. So get ready because today we're in Nubian Square. Rich, rich area with culture and food at Suya Joint. This spot's celebrating its 10 year anniversary. Suya relates to the way that you cook seasoning and spices. So we're gonna get inside. This is an African restaurant, African roots, African cooking. About to do brunch on Sundays coming up. Live music every Friday and Saturday. Without further ado, let's get to the food. Let's go. That's how you know it's real. You see the band? That means they did the work for you, they beautiful people and the drinks gonna be fire because it twist off it don't hit man this is like a vintage jersey retro fire. i got you all of these so you can taste today it's gonna be a great time man look at this y'all this is the beef version and i'm gonna show y'all though don't don't go away yet because we also have a chicken version on this plate which y'all weren't ready for look at that Look at the color, man. man. Flag on top, keeping it copacetic. Plantains coming in hot. Perfectly cooked season, I'm assuming. I got my own plate, I'm ready to go, man. <laughs> I'm going with the beef first. Yes, sir. It's healthy, why? Onions from the earth. <laughs> it's oh, like, that's the beef, yeah. I'm going non-vegan first, y'all. Respect to everybody, but you gotta keep it copacetic. Fork upside down. Pro move. Oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm already messing. I didn't even eat yet. You know it's real. That's how I feel. I can direct the opera. The spice is so warm and comforting in that. It drowns perfectly into the meat. Nothing's left behind. Beautiful, earthy, robust flavor. Tenderly cooked, but then there's a little bit of crispness on the outside of the beef. Let's get right to this, man. This is a Harvard level. This is a well, well-educated beef patty. They got more going on there than just one thing, y'all. Trust me. Mmm. light on the bite. Still a little bit tender and crunchy. This is a hit. Name miss. Fat flip. Yeah. My boy Colin going in with the suya. Yeah, I already know what time it is, y'all. Oh. Nice and tender. And, and then they asked me if I wanted with or without onions. You already know I want my steak with onions. Stop playing with me. Wild man. Yeah, for sure. I got gum. <laughs> I got gum. Don't even worry about it. Hibiscus on deck. Yes, these all are my plates. The most trusted face in food, man. It is me. Stay eating, bruh. Thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Keep it copacetic every time. I'm in love with the food so far. Mmm. There's some of the best seasoning and spices I've had in my life. Well, it's a little more upfront with the compliments. It gives you taste buds. In shock. I really, really like this, y'all. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat so you know it's real. If it don't make you do this, it ain't the right dish, man. My life lived like a local towards Boston. My first time trying Nigerian beer. African herb and fruit extracts. Let's see what we got going. Whoa. That's legendary. It's extremely, I never had a beer this fruity, bruh. One of my favorites, y'all, one of my favorites. This is a hibiscus drink. I almost just drank it off camera. Look at that color, bro. Smells inviting. Zobo. Beautiful. Gorgeous, it's like the color of beets. Oh. Yeah, on, I told y'all, y'all thought I was lying about coming back. What? I'm on the vlog camera now, man. They really just kept this and the beer for us, and we came right back. How you doing? Beautiful. Let's try it, y'all. All right, so this has the signature suya sauce. Colin's a fan of this. He told me it's mandatory. It's gonna change your life, bro. I need that. If it ain't gonna change my life, take it off the fork, man. <laughs> Looks a little gamey. It has a crunch. A little zing, a little sting. A little bit of zest as well. Oh, you gotta see it to believe it. Plantain, man. Excuse me. Not too sweet. A little bit of spice, not too much at all. That's solid. I don't like too many like plantains. Have I had a sweet? It's difficult for me. That's perfect. Spill Belichick today. <laughs> you know I mean, I like that one. Come on. Spill Belichick. I like that. That was hard. You gotta give it to him on that one. <laughs> right. So basically, suya is a street um, food. When you go to Africa, you go to Nigeria, you're gonna see like street vendors selling suya. The spices that's in it: ground pepper, ginger, as well as like peanuts. So if anybody that has peanut allergy, you're not supposed to eat it but then it's all mixed in grilled almost like shish kebab that everybody has but uh, it's like thinly sliced 
and then it's grilled on both sides. If you go to Nigeria, I mean not at the restaurant, but if you go to Nigeria, you can get it with like cabbage, cucumber, or tomatoes, just to like cut down the heat. But like most of the pepper comes from scotch bonnet pepper, like ground up scotch bonnet pepper. Man, I hate to leave spots like this. The food's so good, man. Never seen a time in my life, but dang, it's close. Especially those wings. Suya, that's a for rent sign. I might buy the spot next to it just so I could be closer to here. Those wings is crazy. We are going. 9.3 out of 9.9. .9, never seen a 10 in my life. Stay eating, bro. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll see y'all on the next one. Make sure you go back and check out all types of cuisine on the past episodes. Be safe, y'all. Peace, love, positivity.